Hello everybody, today I'm cooking reposole for dinner and I'm going to start with the ingredients. I have two and a half pounds of pork neck bones, two and a half pounds of uh, pork shoulder, one tablespoon of salt, two pieces of white onion, three garlics, two bay leaves. For my sauce, I have uh, five chile guajillos and two chile pasillas. And for spicy, I'm going to be using um, chile piquín, which is this one. But you can also use chile de árbol if you want to. You can put three chile de árboles or four, as spicy as you want it. One tablespoon of oregano, three garlics, one piece of onion, one-fourth of a teaspoon of uh, cumin, and one teaspoon of salt. And I have my pozole over here. This is the brand I'm using, so I'm going to use two. For topping, I'm going to be using one avocado right here, one red onion, medium size, a half a cabbage. I have my radish over here. I have five, four lemons, and two serrano peppers, and probably like about two tablespoons of uh, dry oregano. So I'm going to start by preparing the meat. I'm going to cut my meat in smaller pieces. So it can cook faster. And you can cut the pieces as big as you want to. And I try to remove a little of the grease from here. Okay, as you can see, these are the neck uh, pork bones. So this ones, I'm gonna leave them like this. Just gonna take off a little grease and I'm gonna wash them and put them to cook together with the meat, okay? Rinse the pork bones in cold water and the meat and I cut it in pieces like this. So I'm gonna put it to cook. But first, I'm going to be putting the, the guajillo chiles to, to soak in hot water. And I cut them in pieces like this, and I wash them too. So I'm going to cover them all the way to the top with hot water, okay? Until they get soft. And I'm going to put the meat to cook already. Okay, so as you can see, I have the water over here uh, for the meat, and it's uh, it's already hot. So I'm going to start putting the meat in here. I start with the bones first, with the pork bones. Okay, 10 minutes later, now we can put our meat. Okay, so now we're going to put the onion together with the meat, the bay leaves, and the three garlics, and the salt. Okay, so now I'm going to make the sauce for the pozole. So uh, in the blender, I'm going to put all the, the peppers. Okay, right there. The onion the three garlics and the oregano right here. The cumin. 
cumin and the salt okay. and I'm gonna put two cups of water here And I have my um, pozole right here. I, I already rinsed it in cold water. And I'm gonna put uh, one fourth of a cup in here, okay? Okay, so we'll, we're gonna take it to the blender. Okay, so I have the red sauce over here that I make for the pozole, so I'm gonna drain it. gonna put a little more water here okay I put a little more water here so I can get all the sauce from the blender okay this is how the sauce look when we drain it And here's the meat so at this point I'm gonna be removing the garlic and the onion You can tell the meat is already done when you can see the meat coming out of the bone. So at this point, I think I'm gonna put my uh, my red sauce on it now. That way you can keep on cooking together. let her keep on cooking okay at this point we try it for salt and flavors let's a little bit more salt so I'm gonna put probably a, a half of the teaspoon but like I always say you know salt is on your taste and now I'm gonna put probably one more tablespoon of oregano but this one I just gonna put it like this just for flavor So we're just going to wait until our meat is soft and then um, and then it's going to be done. You see how the meat is coming out of the bone now? So now we're going to we're going to put our pozole in there. Just let it cook until the meat is done. Okay, now I'm gonna start by cutting all the vegetables that I'm gonna be putting on top of the plate when it's done, the topping. So I'm gonna be removing all the, the seeds from the serrano paper. And um, I don't think we're gonna be using it because 
my pozole is kind of spicy and it's real good you know because it's kind of spicy so i'm just gonna cut it as an extra over here because some people like it real spicy so we cut little pieces like this a lot of seeds because it's real small but it has a lot of juice so I remove the seeds right there and this other one the normal one Cabbage right here. I'm gonna be using this. Okay, I finished all the cabbage, and this is only half of the cabbage, as you can see. It come out a lot, and I use the potato peeler. So now I'm gonna do the avocado. Let me see. squares real careful with the knife I'm gonna put it over here on the plate by this corner just get it out there you go and do the same thing with the other one And as you can see, I put them like this. So I have my serrano pepper here, my radish, my onion, avocado, and my lemon over here. And I have the uh, oregano over here, okay, for the topping. And the cabbage right here, okay? Okay, I think it's already done. It's right here, as you can see. The meat is uh, coming out of the bone. So I'm gonna be serving the plate already. And I'm gonna turn it off. It probably took like an hour, hour and, and 20 minutes. It depends on the meat. So I'm gonna be serving a plate now, and I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, I already served my plate, so I'm gonna be putting a uh, cabbage. Here. A little onion. Radish. Lemon on the side. Okay. 
can't see it. You can just put it here. Okay. So this is how it looks when it's done. I hope you enjoy the recipe and like and subscribe.